Also, the body of a woman discovered inside a Norman home. Police have identified the woman who was found inside her bathroom. KSEO's Dave Detling has also been following this story all day and is back now with details on that. Paul Jess, investigators have identified the woman pulled from inside this home as 30 year old Cassandra Thompson. Her body removed by the medical examiner within the past three hours. Investigators still on the scene tonight trying to piece together what exactly led up to her death. We're currently investigating as we've classified as a suspicious death. For hours, Norman police stood guard outside this home on Donna Drive. Inside, police say a woman's body was found, reportedly in the bathroom. Um, at this time, we're waiting on detectives to get a search warrant, and we're not able to provide any other information at this point. Investigators aren't saying much, but neighbors say the case police are investigating is somehow related to a crash involving this blue pickup with a dented front end. It happened, they say, around 6.30 last night, just down the road, tree limbs still on the ground. I saw the lady hit the guy with the truck, and then she tried to take off. <laughs> I mean, I saw it. Joshua Tyler says he tried to help the man involved, but says he appeared to be okay. I ran across the street. I thought he was underneath the truck. She was laid over the steering wheel. It looked like she was hurt. It's unclear what happened overnight and what led up to the woman's body being found. It scared the heck out of me. Tonight, neighbors are telling us they heard lots of shouting in the past, including doors slamming, even gunfire. But they never imagined something like this would happen to the man and woman living inside. That's the first time I've ever seen. Them. And I'm told by investigators that Thompson lived in the home behind me with her live in boyfriend. I'm told by investigators that that boyfriend who has not been identified is not a suspect in this case. We're in Norman, Dave Detling, KOCO 5 News.